Hello viewers, welcome back to another session on biological, psychological and social changes in old age. A very important uh, lesson to be considered because all these changes, the three changes more importantly, the biological, psychological and social changes influence aging process. In this uh, particular lesson, we are going to focus on three important aspects, all these three changes across the old age process. So get ready, now we are going to learn about how the biological changes occur during the uh, old age and how the psychological changes takes place in the old age people and also what influences especially the social changes have an influence on the old age. Many researchers, scientists including myself completely agree that aging process involves many factors. It could be environmental factors, it could be developmental factors or it could be genetic factors. But it is unfair to judge that one particular factor has an influence in the aging process. Therefore, it is a combination of all these factors. While it is uh, unquestionably true that the physical changes are the most influential aspect in the aging individual and it is always important to understand that there are certain individual differences in the aging process. We cannot compare a person of similar age group say for example if a person is 70 year old and if you compare the same person or the same age group person we cannot say that the aging process is equal among these two individuals one may be having a delayed aging process or one may be having a progressive aging process. Now, the major uh, important uh, physical changes to be considered are changes in the physical appearance. In terms of uh, facial wrinkles, we will be discussing all this in the continuation slides. And um, apart from changes in the physical uh, appearances, we also identify certain changes in the physiological functioning, uh, sexual changes and also changes related to the sensory organs. We will be discussing uh, more clearly on the changes in the physical appearance. Uh, what do you see when you look at a uh, old person? You find that there is a uh, evidence of facial wrinkles. At the same time, you also find there is an elongated nose. Uh, you also see there is a bad shape of the mouth because of the loss of tooth and many other changes like double chinning and all those factors are quite evident and also you can observe them. Another most uh, identifiable and uh, indicative uh, appearance is the color of the hair. It turns into grey and also thinning of hair in the old person. Apart from the physical appearances, it is also indicative that especially the health conditions or the illnesses that takes place during old age. Now the illnesses especially uh, many illnesses can be considered in the aging individual. You can think of uh, diabetes, you can think of hypertension, all these problems can be discussed in the physiological functioning. But it is very important to know that uh, skin cancer among the elderly is quite evident because the tenure that they spent or the exposure to the sun that they have exposed so far during the entire lifespan has an influence or has a role to play in uh, having diseases like skin cancer. Now we come to the sensory changes uh, during uh, old age. If you have observed any old person in your family or in your neighborhood, you understand that there are certain sensory losses that you observe in the old age person. You can think of visual problems, you can think of hearing problems. You can think of skin problems and also the touch, the taste and the smell has a lot of impact on their well-being and the aging process. You must have seen old people by observation. It is quite indicative that they have a problem with the vision. 
especially they are unable to see in the dark places and also they are unable to see the near objects. Now, this is a problem of press biopia where the individuals especially the elderly people are unable to look at the near objects. Even hearing is also a problem among the elderly, they cannot hear voices and sounds. As a result, they find difficult in understanding what the other person is saying. This has an impact on the individual's social isolation. Also, taste and smell, both are quite related because the, as the individual is aging, there is a loss of taste buds and also they are unable to have the aroma or the smell of the food that they take. As a result, this contributes in uh, um, not taking sufficient amount of food because of the uh, taste problem and also they avoid certain nutritious food which in turn has an impact in their malnutrition. Finally, the touch uh, it is very important and uh, they lose certain sensations with it especially in the finger uh, tips and it also diminishes with age as it does and the ability of the body to regulate heat and cool is also another important criteria. Now, old people cannot withstand certain extreme temperatures due to decreased vascularity of the skin. Therefore, they have to prepare according to the weather conditions. Another important uh, physical condition that we need to understand in terms of sensations because of these extreme uh, conditions in the weather where they are unable to uh, experience extreme hot or extreme cold. As a result, they have a very uh, impact on their sleep patterns. If you find elderly people, you observe them, they are most of the time awake during the night and this has a severe impact on their sleep patterns. At the same time, they experience chronic insomnia. This is a sleeplessness disorder. They are unable to sleep during the night. Now, we are going to discuss about the changes in the physical functioning. There are two important uh, factors that we need to consider the physical functioning among the elderly is that the bone density. Now, there is a bone depletion in most of the elderly and this results in a disease called osteoporosis. Now, there is a serious condition of bone loss among the elderly people, especially women are the one who are mostly affected with osteoporosis after the post menopausal situation. Now, there are quite a few challenging uh, treatments available in order to improve the bone density so that they can uh, individuals can have a positive well being in their life. But at the same time, it is quite suffering for the individuals. In addition to osteoporosis, there is another uh, health condition called uh, rheumatoid arthritis, which affects both men and women. And uh, this has a very huge impact on their lifestyle. They are restricted to certain mobility and uh, they cannot uh, perform certain daily routines in their life during this aging process. Of course, there are certain artificial uh, joints that can be replaced with uh, this kind of conditions, but at the same time, uh, it is very important that the individuals need to strengthen their bones in terms of uh, training and exercises and this can reduce uh, loss of muscle strength in the aged people. Now, another important condition, the physical functioning uh, matters is the hypotension among the elderly. Now, many researchers have been identified that uh, elderly people are also prone to hypertension. Now, hypertension or blood pressure occurs when a person's arteries are uh, blocked by accumulation of plague or sometimes the arteries become less flexible. Now, as a result of this, the individual have a problem in their functioning of the heart and if the coronary artery becomes blocked, now there is a possibility of a heart attack. So, therefore, it becomes very crucial in the elderly people to take care of their health. In this regard, there are quite a number of medical procedures that can be helpful to minimize the risk such as angioplasty, 
and uh, bypass surgery. Now, these two important medical treatments can be helpful so that the individual can have further longevity and better quality of life. We are coming to the uh, another important aspect of uh, physical changes that is the changes in the individual's uh, sexuality. Now, it is quite evident that the ovulation stops and the physical changes associated with uh, menopause are quite high in terms of symptoms, especially women experience hot flashes, irritability and sometimes depression also. And uh, with this, it is also possible that the hormones can be replaced in terms of hormone replacement therapy, which can be helpful in reducing the symptoms among the women population. But there is also a risk of having the breast cancer if this hormone replacement therapy is applied. Now, when you talk about the male, the male hormone levels also decline with age. But the one problem some older men experience is that erectile dysfunction or impotence. While some cases of erectile dysfunction have a physical cause, but more often it is psychological. Another important uh, aspect I would like to add to sexual changes is that the strength of sex drive in old age will largely depend upon the individual's general health conditions and also the kind of sexual adjustments that the individual had made in the earlier life period is also another important aspect to be considered. So, now we are done with the physical changes. Now, we are going to shift our attention uh, to the psychological changes in the old age. Now, when you talk about physical changes, similarly, there is also an impact in the psychological changes of the old age person. Now, let us see how. It is very important that most elderly people seem to be vulnerable to certain psychological dysfunctions. Now, these dysfunctions, you can uh, name a few especially the psychological factors, there are two important components to be considered. The first is the affective component, the second is the cognitive component. Now, what do we understand by affective uh, functioning? It is the mood and the emotions, our happiness, our sadness, our fear, pain, anger and confusion, all these uh, aspects are coming under affective functioning. Now, Apart from affective functioning, the cognitive function refers to memory, learning, individual related uh, differences, intelligence and all these contribute to the cognitive functioning. Sometimes the cognitive and the affective functioning has an impact on the individual's self esteem. Now, we will be discussing all these functions in a different segment. When we talk about affective functioning, it is the individual's perception about the world and himself. Now, when I say affective, it is our emotions, especially we have to count our emotions in terms of positive emotions. Are we happy? Am I happy? How do the world look at? Now, all these positive emotions have a positive impact on ourself as well as our view on the world. Therefore, affective functioning is influenced by an individual's outlook towards the world as well as himself. A positive view of self and surrounding environment promotes positive expression of mood and emotions. Therefore, this further enhances the individual's self-esteem. It is the way a person views about himself or herself. So, a positive view of self promotes good health good mental health and also enables the person to cope with any challenges including the aging process. You must be observing many uh, elderly people suffering with chronic diseases. Also, uh, there are elderly who are dependent on the children or who are dependent on the caregivers and there is also functional impairment. There are elderly who cannot move, who are bedridden. Now, sometimes there is a lack of control over the environment in which the elderly is living. This also contributes to the decreased self-esteem unless if the individual 
have a positive outlook towards himself and the world, he cannot develop his self esteem even at that point of time. In continuation with the psychological uh, changes, the personality of an individual is very, very important. Now, as the individual progresses towards aging, now can we understand that the individual personality changes? Can you question this answer? If yes, then you are wrong. The basic personality of elderly does not change as a result of aging process. Personality is static, but the personality will be consistent with that of earlier years. Several mental health uh, problems such as depression among elderly is an important uh, concern because 65 percent of the elderly are depressed. Now, depression includes sleep disturbance and loss of loved one. We will be discussing about depression in the later part. Now, we are going to shift our attention from the affective functioning to the cognitive functioning. As we were discussing about the cognitive functioning, it includes the individual's learning capacity, memory, intelligence, decision making and span of attention. All these cognitive factors have a role to play in the individual's aging. Now, I have a question to uh, ask, uh, how many uh, of you know that elderly people are intelligent? Can we say that uh, elderly people are uh, less intelligent or more intelligent or can we say that people of old age have more wisdom? So, this is a question uh, which really provokes certain uh, thoughts about the individual's cognitive function. Does intelligence has a role to play in elderly people? So, intelligence is a very important uh, mental alertness which includes the ability to learn about certain new materials and also process it, make certain decisions and also it helps in dealing with the stressful situations. Intelligence does not decrease with age. This is very, very important to understand. We cannot say that as the individual progresses towards age, it does not mean that they decrease in their intelligence. Therefore, intelligence does not decrease with age and if you test the IQ among the old age people, if you take example of any IQ test, say for example, there is an IQ test called Weschler Adult Intelligence Scale, there you find uh, adult intelligence testing uh, that can be conducted among the old age people as well. Now, the IQ test performance of uh, older adults may be hindered because of certain sensory defects because if you find any uh, old person having vision problem or hearing problem that might have influenced in getting a low score in the IQ test, but that does not mean that because sometimes these factors need to be considered when you are assessing an old person. Another important uh, cognitive function is memory. Now, uh, you must be observing many uh, old people around you. Uh, they may have problem with the memory, they do not remember people sometimes. Uh, when you visit uh, your grandparents, they sometimes forget that you are their grandchildren or you belong to so and so place. This happens because old people are very good in remembering the past events or the past memories. Now, this can be called as the remote memory. People can remember the past things rather than the fresh events. Now, um, acquisition of new knowledge all these things can be considered, but the memory especially the recent memory is affected among the elderly. In addition to uh, memory and uh, intelligence, learning is another important cognitive function that needs to be considered in the elderly people. Now, learning is acquisition of new knowledge and skills, but the ability to um, learn and retain new information especially in the aged is very, very important. Now, particularly if the mind is in regular use, say for example, if elderly people are reading books, newspapers, they are interacting and they have that intellectual stimulation, we can consider that there is a good learning among these elderly. But if there is no use of the regular um, processing skills with regard to learning, then it affects their learning capacity especially in the old age. Once again, the physical defects such as hearing problem and the visual problems can further influence the individual's 
learning abilities especially in the old age. We are going to talk about the span of attention which is another cognitive functioning. If you understand the uh, individual especially during the old age the span of attention is quite limited because there is a decrease in the vigilance performance. Um, elderly cannot uh, retain their uh, attention uh, not more than 45 minutes, but the elderly is more liable to certain distraction of attention uh, by certain irrelevant information and stimuli. And uh, further uh, attention deficits has uh, an effect on the individual's learning as well as memory. In addition to the psychological functions, let us see what sort of disorders uh, in old age are there. Now, when you talk about mental disorders, dementia is another important disorder that occurs in the old age. Dementia are the mental disorders that affect especially the memory, cognitive functions and learning as well as personality. One common form of dementia is that it mostly likely occur in old age which is called the Alzheimer's disease. The symptoms of Alzheimer's disease include memory loss, personality change and loss of bodily control. Now, these are the people who need certain medical supervision as well as the caregiving. All this support is needed especially in the old age population. Another important mental health condition also include uh, the language deficits because older people are more prone to strokes. A stroke can damage the individual speech as well as language now which is located in the center of the brain which causes aphasia. Aphasia is a condition which means language deficit. Now here old people can with aphasia are unable to produce meaningful speech and unable to understand written or spoken language. Now, because of all these problems, they have limited and restricted social interaction. Now, more than half of all stroke patients develop vascular dementia which impairs the brain functioning. Another disease you must be heard of Parkinson's disease. This is a chronic uh, brain disorder that becomes more common among uh, old age population and the symptoms are very very severe. Uh, the symptoms include a uh, slowing of movement, stooped posture, shuffling gait, people uh, all of a sudden they walk, uh, sometimes there is no control of their uh, bodily sensations and there is a slurred speech. And in addition to all these diseases, depression is considered to be one of the highest uh, mental health disease among the old age population. Now, the reasons could be many. It could be because of chronic illnesses or it could be because of any um, physical impairment. Sometimes loss of loved one can itself result in depression among the old people. Now, we are going to uh, discuss about the social changes in the old age population. Now, when you talk about social changes, now so far from the childhood to middle age, there is a different social environment that they have experienced. Now, with regard to old age, how they are going to spend the rest of their life has an influence with regard to their lifestyles, the kind of interaction, the kind of friends that they interact with how they are spending the leisure after retirement and how are they interested in the recreation activities. All these factors, the lifestyle factors are needed in the individual's life. Now, all these needs to be discussed in the social changes. If you understand uh, what sort of uh, uh, groups the old people like to be with. Now, it is always the young people or the children. Many uh, old people like to spend most of their time with the uh, young children or uh, grandchildren. Sometimes they also like to spend some time with their equal age groups, but this does not happen because by the time many of them might have passed away. So, they remain single or they become lonely as a result they have a problem of social isolation. 
but this can be compensated with the interaction of the younger generations. During old age, if you think of Erickson's psychosocial stages, every elderly person have a psychological conflict of whether they had a successful aging or whether they have an unsuccessful aging and this can be reflected in the individual's ego integrity. Now, the ego integrity of the individual have an experience of a positive, successful and fruitful aging. But in case of despair, there is an unsuccessful uh, life experiences. At the same time, the individual had displayed a bitterness and a hopelessness in their past life. And as a result, they are more sad about their present condition. Now, if you think of Erickson's theory, all the stages have been well explained from infancy to old age where there is a generativity or sometimes there is stagnation. This also reflects in the individual's life at the towards the end of their life. There is a role of um, sibling, there is a role of friends and also there is a role of certain social groups that can take care of the individual especially during old age with certain support systems. Maybe they may have old age people club, mutual clubs in terms of walking, in terms of uh, healthy aging. All these social factors can contribute towards healthy aging among the elderly.